a ribbon cutting to celebrate improvements at Baylor Scott & White Medical Center, Irving. So much has changed, it may be tough to remember. We are renamed, renowned. Oh, I'm gonna get that wrong. Let me see if I can get this right. Renowned, renewed, and renamed. But results are what we're going to look at. This pedestrian plaza is one new feature. It is also the place employees are treated to ice cream on the hot day of this celebration. The plaza links the parking garage to the hospital. This is the centerpiece of the project. The principal purpose of it was that we have some 2,000 people walking back and forth here each day so that they didn't have to cross, cross traffic, but we decided to enhance it and create a little internal park. We have put in over $38 million to work on this hospital and to bring it up to the standard for our wonderful community that we live in. I'm really proud of how the community supported it with gifts, but also how they support us by coming to this hospital and using this hospital. We renovated for them. Inside, our team got to see the renovated lobby and updated hallways. The emergency department is bigger. Now we're prepared to serve up to 100,000 visits a year. Technology is also playing a more significant role inside. For example, with stroke patients. If someone's having a stroke, you want a neurologist to be able to see that person. Uh, and so many times you may not have a neurologist in the building. So now they can actually roll a console that has a television on it, two ways, and the, a doctor from downtown Dallas can actually see this patient, have a conversation with the patient, evaluate this patient, and then work with the doctors here. New signage showcases the new name and affiliation, but at this hospital that marked its 50th anniversary just last year, the history is also honored amid all the change and modernization. The ones of us who are a little older, most of us know this as Urban Community Hospital. Even as the celebration continues on this day, there is talk of what could come next. Well, right now the, the hospital board is looking at uh, expanded uh, buildings. Well, we, do we need more office, medical office buildings? Um, what are the things that we can do to enhance the staff training? So we are the best prepared, most trusted place for people to come. The improvements are more than cosmetic. The makeover is designed to make a more healing environment for patients here. All it does is continue the great quality that was already there. That's always been the hallmark.